Alrighty, what well, morning everybody, and cast time once again, and then let me go ahead and intro this real quick. Uh, this is gonna be Abstract Aeon, uh, El Futuro Esdel Los Arbolas. So I'm guessing this is a dungeon synth that came from, uh, that came from Spain. Uh, Spanish dungeon synth. Hmm, who the fuck it? Um... And I believe I did forget to sound test this. So, and uh, I've never heard this album before. Um, I actually had a I had a couple albums earmarked for this cast, but uh, both of them turned out to be copyrighted. So I had to kind of do a big scramble to try to find something else. And uh, even then, um, I didn't have time to check this one for copyright. So I'm kind of uh. I'm kind of risking it here, so. But again, I've never heard this before, so. So, um, otherwise, uh, well, had my, um, had my, um, family shending today, and, uh, it just, it turned out all right, uh, just saw my mom, dad, stepmom, um, both my sisters, uh, my brother-in-law, and, um, all their kids and stuff, uh, plus a whole bunch of other, whole bunch of new faces that I've never seen before, so... Well, I just kind of caught up a little, so that was kind of good. Kind of good to see them again. I'm not a, but I'm not the kind of person that wants to constantly hook up with my family or anything. It just, I just like to see them like maybe you know once in a great while. Like I said, just to kind of kind of catch up on stuff. So, uh, but otherwise, once uh, once I got back home, um. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I fired up some, uh, I think I played some Gems of War for a little bit. But like I, like I said, um, on yesterday's cast, there was no stream today. So it just, by the time I got, I think I got back around, around 5, 5.30. So pretty much beyond my uh, stream window. But, oh, excuse me. But otherwise, like I said, um, just played some Gems of War for a while. Um probably for about an hour or so, um, switched over to some, um, oh, excuse me, um, but switched over to some Idle Champs of the, uh, Forgotten Realms, so, played that for about, about an hour or two, um, and then some point later on, I switched over and started playing some Killer Instinct, and, um, I did a, did a ran, did a survival mode on Randall, or actually, let me back up a bit, I actually tried out, um, just, I think I did a training mode, uh, did rando select on a, on a bunch of characters, but they weren't, they weren't panning out for one reason or another, so just, kind of lost interest in that, so, what I, um, until eventually, uh, one came up, uh, Fulgore, um, did a, actually, uh, I, I like him, but he's not, he's not my favorite, but I did a I did a survival mode with him, so in fact let me um let me uh, show you what he can do real quick. As you can see here on the left, see when it comes to motion inputs, I'm a quarter circle guy, and he checks all the boxes as far as that goes. He's got he's got four quarter circles, four quarter circles. He's got a dragon punch motion. And no charge, and no, no other goopy stuff. So, he just, he's just like good old-fashioned Ryu from Street Fighter. Down, forward, punch. That's the light. Medium, comes out faster. Comes out even more faster. And then, um, if you could see in the lower left corner, sorry. If you can see in the lower left corner the reactor meter.
But um, you see the um, the box is filling up. If I wanted to fire an additional projectile, um, I can as long as I have enough uh, reactor units like that, so I can shoot additional projectiles. But you can build up that reactor meter just by uh, landing with attacks. See that fan? Uh, you see that fan in the lower left corner? Again, once you when you're landing with attacks, that'll speed up. And if you can see that purple bar, every time it, every time the bar fills up, you get another get another unit. So anyway, um, but like I said, down forward punch, down back, down back is a laser beam, down back light, light punch, medium. Anyway, um, but down, down, back, punch, shoots lasers, like light, which is shooting one, medium, shoots two, oh, and, uh, these are both hitting low, too, and then, um, And then um, you have the Dragon Punch motions. Like Light does a super quick one. Medium. And you see that fan's really spinning now. And um, and if you see the um, no, in uh, your reactor, it also determines how fast you move. Like when your reactor is super low. And see now your react I only have one unit. You see how slow he moves. So anyway. But like I said, your re your reactor, it also measures uh, how fast you move. Anyway, let me uh, let me finish up the rest of the moves. Um, down forward kick is a uh, charge attack, and and then the strength determines how far you go. It's really spinning now. And then um the one big uh the one big problem I got with Bulgore, down back kick. He teleports, but um I don't I don't think it's an absolute direction. Teleporting it also lowers your arm uh, lowers your reactor too but um teleporting though it doesn't it's not movement it's not teleporting in relation to your opponent it's uh, teleporting in relation to absolute locations like left middle or right side of the screen so
like I said, but um, like I said, the higher his reactor, the faster he moves. Killer Instinct Guide. Yeah, it looks like I have this wrong. But yeah, it, it shows that he's a he's a balanced character. So and it, just like it says, um, when you got full of resources, you can pretty much do anything. You can. He's he's just like Jed and Ryu from. Um, yeah, I'm messing this all kinds of up. Anyway, he's just like Jed and Ryu. He's Basically, showed all he could do almost anything. could actually make a combo out of that. Oh, and um, I turned that back on too. That um, the, the, the blue clouds or whatever. buttons. But, um, another character I want to show Whoa, wrong one. is, uh, Idol. Um, like I said, I went through many different characters and I need a... Okay, so the music is looped. Alright. But, I went through, um, I tried out several different characters. Um, another one that took, but that it didn't play very long, was Idol. He was actually the main boss on the original Killer Instinct, like the one that came out in the 90s. Welcome, Idol. Uh-oh. Looked like the game was going to crash for a second. I'll pick white, because uh, white, for me, is easier to see. It's the same thing I do when I play pinball, or when I stream pinball, excuse me. I'll have a, I'll set the ball to bright white, so it's easier to see. Ready. Now, the big thing with him is, uh, this guy here, he has two different modes. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Hold on. But the unique thing with this guy here, he has two different modes that uh, switch back and forth randomly. It's uh, warrior mode and mage mode. See, right now, if you can tell on the lower left, he's in warrior mode. Alright, now he's in mage mode. So... Now he's back to warrior mode again. And now he's mage mode again. So you can... Now he's back to warrior mode. And 
no idea what that does. But uh, you do this by hitting all three punch buttons at the same time. It's a throw, grabs him, and he does that. I don't really... See, he can randomly switch, uh, switch his heads. Where are specials? Oh, okay, so yeah, they are different for each one. For each head, I mean. Okay, so you can barely... So, what I'm doing here... So now, for Warrior... Hitting all three punch buttons... So what that's gonna do is... It's gonna generate an extra charge... For, uh... For Mage. But like I said, I've only played this guy a little bit. So I don't know... I don't know that much about Alright, so now... Mage has a full three charges, so now it's three kick buttons. And that'll give a charge for Warrior. So, looks like it's Mage, down, forward, punch. Light does a ground attack. Medium does a anti-air attack, and now, and Heavy puts one around yourself. Okay, so we're back to mage again. So, like I said, uh, the head shift randomly. So, but like I said, I've only, once again, I've only played this guy a little bit. Like I said, just dabbled around in training mode or it, but I haven't done any actual fighting with him. I haven't even done uh, survival mode with him, so. And I suppose I could, um, I suppose I can go ahead and uh, pull up idle here while I'm at it. Yeah, these are all, uh, all these attacks are for warrior. Yeah, instinct and, instinct and rushdown. I don't know what he means by that. But yeah, 50% in rushdown, 50% in zoning. Yeah, he randomly, that's the problem. He randomly switches between rushdown and zoning. And again, it's a random chance. So there is no way to, there is no way to control when you switch. Yeah, it's only a rush down. You want to be, you want. You don't like characters that need lots of practice. That's fine. If uh, if I like a character enough, I'll commit myself to be play to play him a lot. But right now, I'm in that, I'm in that, I'm in that phase of uh, just trying to find something that works. Right now, believe it or not, my favorite character is Random Select. So. You know, I'll do a survival mode, I'll do a random selection, try them out. If I don't like them, I go on to another. I 
Where is, uh... Oh, here it is. Yeah, here's his mage ones. Don Poor Punch. So he does... So mage doesn't have a down forward kick. Yeah, same thing here. Luckily, all the motion inputs are the same. Yeah, just most most of the evening was spent just playing uh, Killer Instinct. But um, and chances are after this um uh, after this cast is over and uh, I've had my uh I've had my midnight meal, I I just go ahead and keep a, keep a plugging away. But we'll see. Oh, and one other thing I totally forgot to mention. Um, one other thing I started doing was uh um. I kind of noticed that this game had it, but I just now. Hang on, I gotta. Pause it. I gotta. I gotta start this over from the beginning. Alma's about to end. Or are we gonna even start? There it goes. But um, what other thing I did is I took a. Uh, one mode this game has is uh, CPU versus CPU, and it's also one thing I like to do with fighting games, is I like to watch. Just pit two CPUs against each other and just sit back and watch the action. Um, but, uh, I know if, uh, whenever I'm streaming a game, uh, a lot of viewers actually frown on that. They'd rather me actually play, so it's not, it's not really something I... I actually want to do when streaming, although sometimes if I'm if I'm pretty well wore out from uh, from all the fighting I've been doing, yeah, I'll just like to kick back and wind down by watching you know, CPU fights. I think I was doing that on uh, Dragon Ball Fighters as well. Um, I wanted to do it on Fantasy Strike, but it doesn't have that option. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take another drink. And then, um, and I have no intention of, uh, actually playing this myself, but, uh, you could, uh, it's got a rather unique difficulty, uh, called, Div called Ultimate Kyle. I don't know what that means. Like, uh, like Kyle is like a legendary Killer Instinct player or something, and they designed the AI around him. I don't know, but, but yeah, you, you can actually learn a lot. That was, that's the, that's something else I like about doing this. But, but watching CPUs fight, I can get I can get uh, better insight into how a character plays by watching a CPU play. I mean, you can do the same thing too by watching uh, other players play against each other using those characters as well. But uh, for the most part, in tournaments, usually players that I've noticed. Now I'm I'm fairly inexperienced with fighting games in general, so. And you feel free to prove me wrong on this, but uh, a lot of those tournament players don't really use their whole entire toolkits. I don't think they use every single every single move on all you know, or every single move that they have. They're usually sticking with uh, what works, what can you know, what can deceive the opponent, and what they can execute easily. So they're not always going with. Again, they're not always using every single every single tool in their toolkit. Whereas um. When watching CPUs play, they're much more likely to. You know, it's because they're, you know, they're just running on AI. You know, just. I, I forgot what I was gonna say. Or their, their, their um, their moves are basically scripted. So it's it to me. It's good to when it comes to what stuff like this. It's good to get both perspectives. You know, watching players play it, and then also watching CPUs play it too. And like I said earlier, it's also a good way to wind down after, you know, playing a bunch of matches and stuff. So. Uh, but otherwise, uh, that's gonna do it. Um. 
I've said all the things that I wanted to say this morning, so I'll just go ahead and call it good. Uh, but thanks for tuning in and listening to me, though, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow. So, But until then, thanks again for coming by, and see you all next time. Bye now.